out-of-state investors, I want to talk to you guys about building a portfolio, and we're going to do that with this property. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show. You're watching Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. This is the show where we work with real estate investors just like you. We help you guys start, build, grow your real estate portfolio. So if you want to work with me in the same way I'm about to work with my client, Jeff, today, send my team an email, sales at HoltonWise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll call you, talk to you about the process and what you're trying to accomplish or if you're ready to order a package or want more info and you want to do it online, click the show notes below. But the man of the hour, my man Jeff. Jeff, you're an investor from Georgia. Just got done uh, filming a video for you. I told you I wanted to do three for you today. So I got an, another single family home here, right? We haven't focused too many uh, videos for you on single family homes, but you did tell me originally you didn't really care if it was one unit, two unit, three unit, or four unit. You just wanted to get a good cash flowing deal, right? So I thought this would be perfect for you, right? It's a little guy. It's a little two bedroom home. It's been on the market about three months. 222 Belfield Avenue, Elyria, Ohio, 44035. 65K is what they're asking for this thing. And this is a solid blue collar C-class neighborhood, dude. You get pretty solid tenants over there. And, and more or less, uh, th this is pretty much put together, dude. Just a little tiny home. They already got like a pretty cool looking backsplash. Uh, as far as the, the cabinetry, like this is all pretty solid. What I would want to do, though, is go in there and replace this dishwasher. When I Actually, no, I don't mean to say that replace. Sorry. Typo. Uh, I don't want to replace the dishwasher. I want to remove the dishwasher. So I guess I want to replace the dishwasher with like a shelf or like another cabinet, okay? Because in the C-Class rentals, Jeff, um, the amount of money we get extra in rent or the, the lack of people moving in or out, uh, the reduction in turnover, I guess is what I'm trying to say, does not pencil out to a profitable activity for us when you factor in the costs of us dealing with servicing these people's dishwashers and stuff. So a little pro tip for you all out there. If you are investing in real estate and your home market and you're doing the c-class rental game you don't need to put dishwashers in your units it's probably going to be a loss uh for you for the year right so we always replace those uh outside of that just like a little minor cleanup right like you know you got some furniture here the previous seller left but everything else is is looking pretty good. I think we're just going to need to do minor stuff like this carpet to me. Now, obviously, things might change after we inspect it because, you know, listing agents, of course, when they list their homes on the MLS, which is what this one is, they don't want it to make them look bad, right? So there could be like a stain like on the bottom part, which you can't see. I don't know. But it looks like it's fresh carpet. It looks like fresh paint to me. But there's just like minor stuff we're going to do, like, you know, removing that dishwasher or like right here, like, guys, this ain't cool. You can't just like leave a piece of plywood there, right? We're going to have to do something a little bit better than that piece of plywood. Want to remove the window treatments. You don't want to provide window treatments to your tenants because they break them and then they think you'll replace them. That's just, you know, more things that equal cost. This bathroom, dude, looks good though. I like the bathroom. It looks like we got pretty modern vanity, uh, vanity uh, mirror combo there. It looks like we need to give this a little love here. Like we're looking like uh, we got some mold coming in here, some mold right there. Probably like a reglazing will have to happen in there. But all in all, it's it's looking pretty legit, okay? Here's your closed-in porch. And then here's the big-ticket stuff, which is great. First of all, nice, clean, dry-looking basement. Newer furnace, right? Those last about 30 years, cost 3 Gs, so that's a big-ticket item. Brand-new electrical, dude, that is looking good, right? So the big-ticket items taken care of. The roof looks like it's probably like halfway through its life expectancy and it's a tiny little house, man, so we're probably only looking like a four or $5,000 roof whenever you do need to replace it, right? Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. So, 
All that said, Jeff, what do I think uh, we should do? I think we should go ahead and offer 57. See if we can't pick this up for $57,000. I think we'll need to put about five grand into it, right? Just cleaning up those minor things I pointed out to you, right? So you should be all into this investment at 62 Gs. You're all in at 62 Gs. I think I'll get you a tenant at approximately $900 a month. That's $10,800 a year. Of that, I anticipate spending 58.20 on average every year to uh, run the property for you. So that should be a average profit of 49.80 with your $62,000 investment, Jeff. That's a pretty nice, easy, clean eight cap. Your down payment on the loan would be 14,250, and the whole thing pencils out to a 14.7% cash on cash return. And remember, folks, when you're doing the numbers at home. To calculate your cash on cash return, you take your net operating income, which in this case is the 4980 and you divide that by your upfront costs. In this case, that's the down payment, which is $14,250 plus $5,000, which I have budgeted uh, to get it ready to rock and roll to get us that tenant. So, Jeff... I think this is just a solid property, uh, pretty low risk, you know, nice blue collar C class stuff. And I just think this will work very well in your portfolio. Again, we haven't done too many uh, single family homes for you. So I wanted to diversify some of the offerings I'm giving you. And then I'm going to actually uh, right now, I'm going to go ahead and end this video so I can get started on the next one, which is going to be another single family home in the same neighborhood. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.